out of breath, I must admit. It's a long way up here and I don't often come up here. But I wanted to take one of the chairs I've got downstairs. I don't even like it in here. You won't catch me in here when I'm here on my own. This is what Adrian comes back from the exhibitions with. All this underlay, which is the green, and the red and blue carpet. At the end of the show, they just throw it all out. It's complete waste, so he always brings it home. He usually puts it on the garage floor. I think the cars get treated to a better life than I do. As you can see, this is a bit of a store. This is the marble from the fireplace in the salon. It's been bought up here to keep it safe. But I'm actually looking for a couple of chairs that I started stripping for the salon or like two years ago. Now there's one. I'm going to take them downstairs. Actually, I might take this one downstairs. At least I can sit on it then. Because I want to get Adrian to pick up some upholstery tacks to put around the edge. I've got some blue fabric somewhere already for this. It's just a case of finding it and getting around to actually doing the chairs. But we're a long way off of furniture in the salon anyway. As you can see, all these ceilings are all caving in. But never mind, we'll get there eventually. Hello? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Yeah? Sure. <laughs> I must admit, I'm a bit behind where I wanted to be in the salon. Sorry. Yeah, too much darkening around in the garden, too much gardening, and also... I'm here. <laughs> You've been more of a... Distraction. That's the word I was thinking of, distraction. Yeah. And although you said you'd help me, Bethany's been spending quite an awful lot of time doing the videos. Mm, we've had some problems recently with them. The software that I use updated and now it's completely different and it doesn't want to work properly, so it's taken me longer than normally. So I took over Bethany's job of painting the um, nail heads this morning. That's dried and as you can see, I'm just putting on a primer. And then... We'll rub them down later. But by the time Adrian gets back late Monday night, I really wanted to have all the panel work done. I don't think it's going to happen. This afternoon, we've got somebody from the village who wants to come around for a meeting. They haven't said what about. I suspect it's about one of the fates that they hold in September, and maybe they want to hold it here because it's a special anniversary. Um, we also got approached by a lady by email who has offered to buy my moulds for the holdbacks in the dining room which was very kind of her but as I said to her and as somebody else commented um, I'm actually going to keep them in case they break and I need to make more. That was quite pleasing to have someone want to actually buy my work. <laughs> but you said it was they're quite expensive to make. To make one of those holdbacks in the dining room would have cost about um, Fifty pounds worth of silly gum to make the actual mold. Mm, so you'd have to ask quite a lot to cover that and shipping, which probably isn't very reasonable, unfortunately. I love painting. It's my favourite job. <laughs> I quite like painting too. Oh. But I've got to edit the video, so I've got enough time. <laughs> there used to be. You can see evidence here of where there used to be woodworm. So that got treated at the same time as the floor and I filled it. And hopefully that'll be the last we see of that. Gone forever. And then the next stage on these doors will to be fill all the cracks now that I can see them. It doesn't look like there's loads. I have done some filling already. There's a couple like other ones up there. There's quite a big one at the top where it would split. Yeah. Other than that, there's not that many. 
doesn't look that bad. And what colour are the doors going? So I've kept one panel in its, in its original state so I can use it for reference. So all the woodwork is grey and obviously the gold trims and the wallpaper is a sore subject. <laughs> Hmm. So, okay. are the doors going the same colour as the panelling? Yes, they were originally grey, so they will be going grey. Have you got the grey? Not until I've got the wallpaper. It's easier to match paint to paper than it is paper to paint. Okay, fair enough. Right. Another job done. <laughs> we got a present. I thought I was going to pick up a... Uh, something else. I can't say what, it's a sore subject. But I don't know what this is. I still don't know what this is. <laughs> really exciting though, not knowing that something was coming. Oh. Crafting, premium crafting experience. Whoa, what's that? I've got a couple of tools here. Wow. Oh, hey, look at this. Whoa, what's that? Have you seen? <laughs> Hold on. It's kind of getting a bit carried away there. <laughs> ah, so I'm guessing these are for cleaning the window furniture and getting into all the um, nooks and crannies. Oh, that's cool. And well, these are all the cleaning blades. Look, look at all them. Wow. Wow. I've got two of them, two. I'm being a bit spoiled, aren't I? You are. Brilliant. I need to find out though, who sent these? Yeah, please tell from? us. If it was you, please tell us. Um, there's nothing in the packaging to say who sent them or where they've come from. So let yourselves be known, please. Thank you. Hi. Hello. So I want to get some stone block on this, uh, I'm gonna call it the runway. <laughs> <laughs> this piece of coving along this side has got um, some damp. So I'm gonna put some stone block on there. But first obviously I've got to prepare it. So I'm using one of these pads that I got sent, which are working brilliantly. See how clean it is there? Oh yeah, wow. Um, it's getting all the surface dust off and then I shall coat it with some stain block. And then I might do a patch sample on the ceiling later to see how it comes up. Mm, that would be fun. <laughs> yeah. The ceiling um, is huge. <laughs> so... That will, yeah, that'll take you a long time. So Bethany is going to do these mouldings that go on the corners of the salon. She's got to smooth off the edge, sorry, smooth off the back, and then go around the edges and get the correct shape. So all I want you to do is hold it like this so you don't damage your nails, and run it over like that. So that it goes nice and flat like that okay easy and then with the finer paper i just want you to go around these edges like that to get the shape back you can follow the shape and then here and if you're not sure you can go to the salon and check okay so these edges around here should be flat And if you do it outside, you can get a tan at the same time. Mm -hmm. You need burn at the same time. <laughs> okay, so there's only 20 of them to do. Only. It's therapeutic. It should be easy now that they've dried out. Try not to break any. Okay. I don't want to make any more. Okay. There. Job for you. In the sun. Get I'll, going. I'll be in the show.
because of the condition that she's in. <laughs> Everyone knows you're naturally beautiful. <laughs> How's it going? How many have you done? Two. <laughs> You've got 20. This is my third. So this is the present we got sent. And it's actually, I don't think this is what it's meant to be used for. So this present that we sent is actually, it says it's an engraving tool. But Bethany thought it's a brilliant idea for getting into the gaps and... Yeah. So I need to get into those bits first before, but I'll just show you on this side bit. But you can just use it and it's really good for the edges. That's not what I'd use it for. Nope. I'd use it for getting into these bits here. But I haven't got to those bits yet. But yeah, multi-purpose. Maybe that's what it was sent for. Um, when we find out who sent it, we'll be able to ask them. Okay, thank you very much. Um, up in the ceiling, it is all sanded. This piece of coving that has damp is now cleaned and sanded the best I can, ready to put the stain block on, which is my next job. I'm just having a rest. It's quite hard on your neck and your head, working above, above your head when it's such high. I'm just gonna take a break and then go back to it. Damp seal. You can put it on um, damp that's still damp. Um, it stinks. It's not a very nice job. And you have to apply it with a paintbrush too. Um, it stays glossy so that um, you can put any finish on it afterwards so that it would just be white emulsion here on the ceiling. But you can see the difference between where I've done the stained rock and I haven't. 